Hey loves, what's up? You're welcome back to another episode of the Bed with Benhene podcast. This is a podcast that opens the door to honest and relatable conversations about millennials, you know, about ourselves, things that we go through, be it motherhood, be it work, be it marriage, pretty much anything that I find interesting, I bring it onto this channel or on this podcast and we talk about it. Eventually in the future, I do want to have people in my couch, you know, where we can chit chat and everything. But for right now, you're going to be having solo me. So we'll just have that for the meantime till I have my guests. So fingers crossed, okay? Um, but if you're seeing me for the very first time, my name is Akusia, Akusia Benhini. This is my channel. Um, so yes, I just I just figured I'll do like, you know, a quick little intro since I haven't posted an episode of my podcast in a while. Um, in today's video or in today's episode, I'm talking about change. The title says it all. You've changed, so what? It's okay to go through change. It's okay to allow yourself to go through change. I made a decision to talk about this topic because I have gone through change i have allowed myself to metamorphose <laughs> if that's even a word like i've allowed myself to go through change and it literally hit me a few days ago when i was in the kitchen cooking and i was saying that i have changed so what yes my views on certain things have changed yes my lifestyle has changed and the reason why i'm saying this is sometimes when we go through change in life or sometimes when we find out that we've changed it becomes something that is hard for us to grasp or it feels like what are you doing like don't change or people around you tend to like you know start to ask questions well you you're acting different or now you're carrying yourself different what's going on and that's just you going through change or you growing which is perfectly fine so years ago some of the things that i liked i don't like them again i'm not even going to lie like seven eight ten years ago the lifestyle that i used to live i don't live that lifestyle any longer one of the biggest things for me is i used to be i feel like i used to be a big extrovert and now i'm such an introvert i couldn't even be bothered to go out it's insane like i love having fun i love entertainment i love you know just connecting with people but just in my own way i love doing it in my home i'd rather instead of going to the movies i'd rather put on my projector you know invite my friends over or maybe go to my friend's home we'll do a nice charcuterie board or cheese board watch a movie chit chat over wine that is my vibe now and i used to never be that type of person i used to be the person that wanted to go out 24 7. i always wanted to see the outside world i always wanted to be in the business of people like just in the faces of people but now i don't like it anymore and i'm i'm not gonna lie i have questioned like why i'm going through that change or i've questioned why i feel like that and i only came to a realization that it's okay it's okay if you don't like some of the things that you liked before it's okay if you have outgrown some lifestyle that you used to live and it's okay if people don't get it you don't have to explain yourself that's what i'm talking about that's literally the main purpose of the video it's okay to allow yourself to go through change and you don't have to explain yourself for that the real people they will understand exactly what you're going through and they will see the beauty in the change that you become or in the change that you've allowed yourself to go through and i love that for myself because i see it i see that the more i grow the more a lot of people are repelling but the more i'm also retaining the right people for my life and i love that okay i used to be oh i'm not gonna lie i used to be the type of person that will visit my friends every time i'm I literally can remember my dad one time asked me, so at what point are your friends going to visit you in your own house? <laughs> like he literally sat me down one time and then he's like, so at what point is your friend going to come and visit you? Because you're always going to visit your friend. But also low key, my dad is a pastor. So it was almost impossible to bring people into the house because he would end up preaching to all of us or making us watch them. the news um, on like Bible or something like that. And you know, I wasn't against that, but as 16, 15, nobody wants that. You already know, nobody wants that. But that question that he asked me, at what point are your friends going to ever come and visit you? That day, it changed a lot of things in my perception about friendships. And I kept asking myself, it looks like I do put myself out a lot more for my friends. And I loved that about me. I think I'm low-key still that type of person, but I do it in a different way right now. I don't have to see you every time. I don't have to talk to my friends every time. I actually don't like it. I don't like talking too much at this point. I used to be such a talker. One reason why I have a, a podcast, I love communicating, but I'm not a talkative. 
there are two big, it was like two big differences. And I've come to understand all these little things, you know? I feel like change is such a beautiful thing that you need to allow yourself to go through it. And when you do realize that you're, that you're going through change, accept it, okay? Accept it. So I just wanted to, you know, generally say that when you're going through change, allow yourself to go through that change and also give you guys a few tips on if you if you feel like you're going through some changes in your life or if you're actually at this stage where you feel like a lot of things have changed a lot of things that i used to like in my past i don't like them again or i just generally feel like a new person then i'm going to give you a few tips on how to maneuver this new stage in your life how to make you feel better about yourself and just generally how to accept this change you know this states or this new stage that you've got into in your life okay so the first thing that i'm gonna say is first of all accept the fact that you have changed you need to accept it to be able to preach it to other people you need to accept it to for the people around you to also accept that you really have changed and you need to be able to live that change that you're currently um, experiencing or that you're currently feeling. So one, accepting that for me helped so much. And then also two, actually living how I currently feel, the things that I currently like, practicing more of them. You know, at this point, I love me again. I'm a, I'll pour myself a glass of wine Take myself a painting book and literally just sit here and chill, paint, literally. And, you know, I would do a puzzle on the floor with my little girl or we'll just go outside, take a walk. Those are the things that I'm really living for. I have a little garden in my home. I love that. Like, that is literally the things that I'm living for. Intentional living. I just love that for me right now. And I'm actually living it. And I love it. Now, I just want to say that this video is very random. So I didn't even write any points. I literally just thought of the idea or the, the idea just hit me. And I'm like, I have to share it with you guys. So it's going to sound a little all over the place, just so you know. But now the second thing that I'm going to say is don't explain yourself to anyone. Okay? Do not explain yourself to anyone if you feel like you're going through change. And I'm saying that if you feel like, because it's something that you're eventually going to feel, you're going to see that they're sending things that you don't like again. They're sending things that you don't gravitate towards again, which is the same thing as like, but get what I'm talking about. It's just things have changed in your life and you feel it. Don't explain yourself to people. The people who don't get it, they just don't get it okay but you do have some precious people in your life that sometimes you might have to explain to them and let them know that this is how you feel now and so this is how you want them to approach you that's absolutely fine communication is always key i say that um but the people who don't get it and just choose to not get it please let them go just let them go don't stress yourself okay so don't explain yourself to anyone we don't have time to do that at this point in our lives, like we're growing. If you don't understand, I will explain a thing or two. If you still don't understand, bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, so the, the next thing that I'm going to say is you definitely still want to be authentic to yourself. Stay true to yourself, okay? Like I said before, I was asking myself a lot of questions. Are you sure this is you? So sometimes you need to ask yourself these questions. Ask yourself if you're really changing a lifestyle or it's just a, a circumstance that is making you go through that change because they're also two very different things because life circumstances like you know short-term circumstances circumstances can cause you to change or can cause some changes in your life but they might not be long-term changes that will be happening in your life so sometimes some changes might happen that might look like a change of lifestyle but not actually a change of lifestyle it's just based on something that is happening in your life, if it makes sense. So that is not what I'm talking about. So you want to ask yourself, is this actually a change that I feel or is it a change based on something that has happened in my life or something that is happening in my life? And I know that it's not going to be long term. If that thing is not going to be long term and is in turn affecting you to change, then you want to be you know, then that will lead me to my next point, which is giving yourself grace, because sometimes life circumstances can cause you to change and that can either cause you to be too hard on yourself or it can cause you to you know be nice to yourself accept yourself yada yada if it causes you to be hard on yourself because something has caused you to change then you want to give yourself grace because life is hard that's just a tall and short we're all new on this earth 
this is your first time and this thing called life. This is my first time and this thing called life. We're all trying to figure it out. We're all doing the best that we can with the knowledge and understanding that's available to us. I say this thing every time. If you understood better, if you had a lot more knowledge than you had right now, you would have been doing better than you're doing right now. And that's just the truth. If I know better, I will do better. If I understand better, I will do better. And that's why as human beings, we're constantly learning, constantly trying to research just so we can better ourselves as people. So give yourself grace if something in life is causing you to have to go through some changes. That is just life circumstances. But if you're going through actual change and you feel like, no, this is just the woman in me that is changing and not because something is causing me to change, then that's the change I'm talking about. That's the change that you want to hone into and be authentic about and make sure that you're being true to yourself in that process, okay? And the last thing that I want to say, because again, this wasn't actually like a pointers type of video where I was going to give you five points and six points. No, I just wanted to talk about change and how you should allow yourself to go through it. So, <laughs> so the last thing that I'm going to say is change is beautiful, okay? Change in life is beautiful. If you accept it, if you give it good energy, it could definitely turn into something beautiful for you. You don't have to... Um, uh, I, I just want to say that don't fear change. Don't be afraid of change. I used to be that type of person. I like my things in order. I like a certain type of routine. And if you mess with my routine, that messes with my head. And I think it still do. It, I mean, it still kind of does the same thing to my head. Um, but generally, now I've come to understand that life is all about change. Change will happen every now and then. And you need to accept it. You need to embrace it. But you need to embrace it in a beautiful way. So that, you know, you have control over what is happening in your life and not the thing having control over you. So, again, generally the purpose of this video is to let you know that if you've changed, so what? The things that you used to like before, if you don't like them again, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't explain yourself to nobody. Don't try to go back picking the things that you used to like if you really don't like them again. Like, don't try to do soul searching in a way it's like, you're looking to go back to your old self. No, leave that old self. Grow on and go on with the new self. Trust me, it's beautiful if you allow yourself to grow, if you allow yourself to go through the change, if you allow yourself to metamorphose. If I don't know where that word is coming from, but that's the word I'm going to be using all throughout the video because I don't know. It's, I feel like that is the process. You're allowing yourself to change. You need to allow yourself to go through the change and you need to accept it. You need to embrace it. And you need to move with your chest because change is a beautiful thing. And if you embrace it, it's just it's just so beautiful. So yeah, that's basically all I wanted to talk about today. I feel like it's the season of change right now. I generally feel like there's the energy of change going on around. I just feel it so hard. I feel it deep down in my heart that you know, a lot of things are changing, a lot of things are growing, a lot of things are just becoming nice and beautiful. And if you allow yourself to hone into that energy, things will just become beautiful for you as well. So change is beautiful, accept it, embrace it, and allow yourself to be that girl with the change that is happening, okay? <laughs> so yeah, that's basically everything that I have to share with you guys in this video. Comment below if you have any questions or anything that you want to, questions, anything like that, you can definitely leave that in the comments. If you haven't also subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. We're still trying to hit 1.5 thousand subscribers. I appreciate every one of you that is always coming back to watch these videos. I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram at akusia.behini. I love you and I'll see you guys in my next one, okay? Bye. When they say she did it from her mama, mama say you fuck her right, your body do this bumper like a dummy in the home of